Hey guys, so learn here back in with another review and today we'll be taking a look at the McFarland Toys DC Multiverse Dark Father Wave Death Metal Superman. So without further ado to you, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as I said before, today we are taking a look at the Death Metal Superman. He is part of the semi-recent... Is it recent? Are these even supposed to be out yet? I still don't know. I might have lucked out and got these early. Either way, the semi-recently released Dark Father Wave, part of McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse line. And I'm going to tell you right now, this figure surprises me be quite honest i think this is one of the better superman figures that mcfarland's done and uh probably due to the fact that it's a much different take on the character i mean just look at him but i typically like the more drastic changes to characters when they decide to redesign them when they redesign them and take away stuff that works that irks me but when they redesign them and just go crazy and add all kinds of stuff that tickles my fancy. So, that being said, let's get into the aesthetics and the articulation, shall we? Let's. I don't say that a lot anymore. Then again, I do upload almost every day, so don't expect these to be perfect. But, just taking a look see at him, he's got a very Native American vibe to him. For whatever reason. He kind of reminds me of um, Marvel's Warpath and or Thunderbird. A little bit especially in the head if you wanted a better thunderbird head sculpt i would maybe pick this because it is a little bit i think it's a little bit too handsome a little bit too pretty looking to go with all of this but that's just me he's got his uh semi he-man mullet haircut there that's that's pretty funny um again he's got all these tassels which i think these are supposed to be his cape Kind of tattered up and thrown on here. He's got some spawn chains. Bonus points for that. Uh, and he's got a big old honking dark side arm. Because I believe the Dark Father, which is an alternate version of Batman that kind of becomes dark side, throws this guy into a fire pit. You know, for kids! So, getting into the articulation, you can snap his neck and kill him. Pretty straightforward. Uh, he can look up and down pretty easily and tilt side to side even though he does have some hair going on here and there's not a lot of supermen with long hair is there i mean he had it in the 90s before doomsday straight whooped his ass like a punk bitch but uh, i don't remember superman having a lot of long hair moments other than that and there was like one episode of justice league maybe it was a two-parter i don't remember but the shoulder on this side goes out past 90 back down does move forward and back he does have the butterfly thing but it's not that effective because his torso is really hard plastic so there's not a lot of clearance um, he does have a hinge at the elbow which is pretty stiff on this side and like the gorilla grad i looked at a couple of weeks ago the swivel is down in the elbow but you do also get a bicep swivel as well it's kind of a cap piece that locks on top and then you get a wrist swivel with a hinge for this side. I will say the hands on this guy out of package are pretty loose. Um, the peg that pegs him in. He does come with an alternate set of hands. But you might want to use a little bit of Elmer's glue or some kind of adhesive to uh, tighten these hands up a little bit. I think that would help. I don't think it would hurt anything. Uh, and then this side. He's got the shoulder, the bicep. The butterfly is even weaker on this side. I actually had to loosen this up a bit just by rotating it around a few times. But uh, it works fine now. But he's got the bicep swivel. He's got the double jointed elbow. So he can punch himself in his own face. There you go. Um, he can straighten his arm out. He does have the hinge, the ball hinge in the wrist. 
but again it's you can see how loose that is it pops out as you move it so uh, again maybe a little bit of adhesive on that fist on the fists anyways the open hands he comes with don't really have that problem um, he does have a diaphragm joint that does work pretty well going back mostly but it does rotate a little bit and tilt a little bit the waist again is where you're going to get most of your ab crunch you can crunch for it a little bit not a lot though i think they really they really need to work on the torso joints the top one should move forward more so than backward although it's nice that it does move backward at least because there is that he does have some range in the hips here they move forward and back almost 90 back down you can kick out to the side back down he does have a thigh cut surprisingly enough double jointed knees really tight can't kick his own ass because he's got a big ass boot and then the feet do have hinges kind of limited though uh, they got the ball hinge down there and the toe joint which is pretty much useless on this guy it is tight on this side what about this and eh, it's kind of loose over there and then he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet so yeah looks really cool and if you look at his eyes actually little focus they are red they appear to be red kind of like dark side or kind of like he's using his heat vision this side seems a little bit off but that could just be me could just be me my eyes are a little off too you know <laughs> so you see what i did there probably not i'll get it you see what i ha ha i'm pumping them out and i don't even know it i'm a genius other than <laughs> not being able to get this damn thing to stand look at that because of your beloved toe joints that you love so much the thing can't stand Seriously, they can ditch those any day now. They're so useless. So useless. They were useless back in the toy biz day. Anyone who thinks toe joints are useful, hey, you're stupid. Okay, moving on to the accessories. As I said before, he does have a set of grip hands. Kind of, they're open hands. What What is up with them kind of doing this weird... It's like an open hand, but it's like half open half closed like either go one way or the other um yeah this side is at least open i can tell this is open this is fine but this side it's like arthritis is setting in <laughs> so yeah kind of weird kind of weird whatever uh, he does come with the display stand with the peg on it standard stuff there just knocked Robin King over. And then he comes with a collectible trading card. It's a Superman right there on the back. It's bio. You can pause and read it now. Though I pretty much told you this guy's story. Got uh, punked out and thrown into a fire pit by uh, Dark Side Batman. 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 Stupid. Learn to talk. Either way. That about wraps things up for that. So, that being said, let's take a look at some size comparisons. Taking a look at some size comparisons, here's the Death Metal Superman next to a couple other Superman figures I have from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. We got the first Superman they did. Shout out to T-Biz for that one. And the Infected Superman from the Merciless Wave. And no, these two do not seem to share any of the same parts not even the torso because the uh death metal superman here has the little rips towards the shoulders uh, where his sleeves have come off uh, yeah it doesn't appear to be any reuse from these two so that is pretty cool up next here he is next to the death metal batman on his death metal bat cycle which i refuse to separate these two they are an insufferable bond as well as the Batman Who Laughs, who is the main villain of this series. So i uh, kind of curious if we're going to get another figure of that fella later down the line. And last but certainly not least, 
Got our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, which, looking at Supes here, looks like he might actually be able to hold his own against good old Spawn. But with that being said, time to wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and while this isn't exactly my favorite figure in the wave or even my favorite look for Superman, I'm more partial to maybe the Black Lantern look or even the Doomsday Virus look. This is still, I think, one of the better versions of Superman out there. He looks pretty kick-ass, a lot like Marvel's Warpath and Thunderbird, to be honest with you. Uh, like I said during the aesthetics and articulation, he's got a very Native American looking vibe, which I'm always a sucker for. And the spawn chains on the belt are a definite bonus. But if I did have any gripes with this figure, it is that the fist hands he comes packaged with are a little loose. So you might need to hit those with some Elmer's glue so they don't kind of wobble about in the peg holes they're supposed to go into on his arms. But other than that, I really don't have any problems with this figure. He's pretty chunky too considering a lot bulkier than i think even the infected superman which as i said in that figure's review i think that's one of the best superman figures in this line so far this one as well i i had to rank my favorite superman from this line right now it would be this guy the gundam looking superman mech the superman unchained and the infected Superman. I'm not going to count Bizarro, even though I do have that figure, because it's Bizarro, it's not Superman. But uh, if that gives you a gist of like my top three Supermen from this line, then there you go. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend you pick this thing up if you're at all interested in the Dark Father wave or want to complete the Trinity in their death metal attire. I think that'll be a really kick-ass display. Still looking for Wonder Woman, but again, like I said in the Robin King review, or the King Robin, whatever his damn name is, <laughs> I can't comprehend shit at this point. What can I say? I don't know if these are supposed to be out yet or if I just lucked the hell out and got a couple of them early. Probably should have reviewed them a long time ago, but uh, again, hiatuses, right? But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. As well as hit me up over on Instagram at Overlord Productions for live unboxing videos, which in case you miss them, I do upload them to my IGTV afterwards so you can watch them in their full train wrecked glory. Again, haven't done one in a while, probably should. Waiting on some stuff to come in from BBTS. Maybe then it'll happen again. I don't know. We'll get that back on a consistent basis one of these days, won't we? And as always, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you like this figure, if you don't like this figure, if you're chosen for this figure, or if you're going to pass on this figure. Again, like I said in the, again, in the Robin King review, or King Robin, again, what the hell is his name? This line is 50-50 with some people. I like these crazy looks for the characters because they're so different. I mean, I can only get a classic Superman so many times and not get sick of it. Especially since it's Superman. Not my favorite character of all time. But let me tell you what. But, I digress. And as always, keep the comments civil because the world sucks enough as it is. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.